the time, your grand final, Casey Ani Rodriguez is going to be going up against Capo Zin de la Noir as we are going to see a battle of the titans out here today. Who is going to be the champion? Kessiani Rodriguez has had the top combination score of the competition, the top wave score of the competition. Capuzin de la Noire is the reigning world number one. Both of them are North kiteboarding athletes. In the white Lycra, Lycra is going to be Kessiani Rodriguez. In the orange Lycra is going to be Capuzin de la Noire. As we get ready to rumble, 24 minutes of action, 10 wave attempts each. The top two scores are the ones that are going to count. Alright, so both the athletes out there. Looking for those set ways, so it is going to be Kessiani who's going to be firing off the first bullet. Little check turn, she is a little bit further left hand side of the point. As it looks like she's seen something because she is going into this one. She is out there on a 12 meter kite. Another check turn just to stay on the wave to hopefully see if when it hits the sandbar. All right, nice little foam climb there from her. And she's going to be rolling this one all the way down. Capucine Delanois behind her with what looks like a better wave going for that first big turn. All right, Capucine answering with power. Kessiani answers back. Here's the battle. Synchronized turning. Capucine just almost going off the back. Kessiani makes it. Ooh. And maybe a little bit of interference there. We're going to have to see. It was definitely, un you know, not intentional if it was. But it did look like Kessiani came off the back of the wave. Capuzin Del Noir here. Boom! This is a good opener. This is a very good opener for the young French athlete. Your current world number one. She's been a world championship, world champion, and she is hungry for another. As she makes it all the way down to the beach break. So... Capos in Delanois, Kessiani Rodriguez, your final here of the GK Kite Surf World Cup. As that first trade. It looks like Capos in Delanois is going to have the upper hand so far. And here we can see a beautiful location that is West Point Hotel with this peeling right hander. A bit on the smaller size today, but we have seen some amazing ways throughout this week. As I mentioned, we've been coming here for 10 years. And right now, we have your women's kite surf. Clemence Delian in fourth position. Serena Luz taking third. And here on your screen, the grand final. In between Capucine Delanois and Kessiani Rodriguez. Kessiani in the white jersey. Now your kite, the athlete, dropping in and trying to make this work out on a 12 meter. All right, here we go. Engaging, getting the power. Kessiani, first check turn, going down the line. Can she keep it together? It looks like she can. She's got a good amount of speed. Check turn number two. Now this is where she wants to start to get a little smack. Boom, off the top. Kessiani, nice snap. Keeping the power, keeping the speed. Judges are going to be liking this. And good wave selection because this one has opened up for four, five nice turns. And maybe even a finisher at the end of this wave down on the beach break. Yes, it is. Finishing it off. Great wave here for Kersiani. Uh, she is going to be happy with that one. 6.0 for the last wave there from Capucin. And Kersiani with a 3.80 from that one. Meaning she is in the lead so far.
All right, so waiting for scores there for that last wave from Cassiani because that was powering up to be the best wave of the heat so far. As I can see some numbers here on the judging panel. Yep, yeah, that is definitely looking like it is going to be the best wave. So Cassiani is going to be going into the leads after that score is going to drop. So we have 18 minutes to go. Capuzin Delanois, Cassiani Rodriguez, your two finalists. And there it is. Is it going to be Brazil or is it going to be France on top of the podium? Who is going to be crowned here? Our Dakla champion. It's going to be one of these two athletes out there in the water. Capuzin Delanois or Cassiani Rodriguez. What do you reckon, guys and girls out here on the stream? Throw a comment. Who is going to be our champion? And here we can see the event set up. Once again, a thank you to all of our partners, to all of the institutions, to Qatar Airways, our headline sponsor of our tour, for taking us to all of the different destinations around the world to enjoy the beauties of the kite surfing and kite boarding disciplines. After this, we will be going over to Brazil and then ending off the tour in Qatar where it all started. So a 6.73, there you go, yep. Kessiani having the upper hand now. A little bit more than the last wave there from Capucin. Judges just making the difference. All right, so Capucine dropping in. Wraps it around, here we go. Kessiani, oh, Kessiani's on a nice set wave. So here, pretty much both of these athletes, every single time, get in on the same set. Big hack from Capucine. Almost going off the back. And a nice turn here from Kessiani. Pound for pound down here in Dakla in between these two athletes. And a Capuzin, a little bit of a tail slide. Keeping that kite a little bit high though. Not being able to get the verticality that she was probably looking for. And here we can see, oh, beautiful sending water flying. Kessiani right in front of the judges as well. They could see the white of her jersey and the white in her eyes. As she sent the spray all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And the finisher here at the end. Boom! Kessiani Rodriguez. She's on a roll. Kessiani is on a roll. As there were two or three solid turns on that wave. Capuzin Delanoir had a couple of nice ones as well. So waiting for scores to come in.
All right, let's go to the scoreboard here. Let's have a little look see. Oh, border, 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 border. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. As we can see that flag here, I am seeing a big score is about to drop here for Cassiani Rodriguez and well deserved after that last wave. Also a nice score is going to be dropped for Capucin de la Noire. But Cassiani Rodriguez is going to be in the lead after that last showdown. 12 minutes to go. Just over 12 minutes, meaning we are almost at the halfway point and already three decent ways for each one of these athletes. Eight point one three, bada bim bada boom, there from Cassiani Rodriguez, and Capucin de Lenoir also with a six point zero, and I can see another nice score coming her way. So they are going to be very similar on the overall, very very similar from what I can see. Just waiting for confirmation on that. Eleven point nine three here for Cassiani. Fourteen point eight six. So increasing that first wave was the six point seven three for Cassiani. Second wave was an eight point one three. On Capucin's side, we have a six point zero. All right, Capucin, nice turn here. Getting past the phone ball. Times it nicely off the top. And again, she keeps going off the back. And you can see, and going to the head, the frustration is there. 11 minutes. All right, both of the athletes making their way back. All right, coming up under the 10 minute mark already. 6.373, 8.13, 6 6.0, 6.20. So 12.20 versus a 14.86. So Cassiani Rodriguez in the lead here in the white jersey. Hailing out of Brazil, your North Kite boarding athletes representing Kitely. And there, the Brazilians as well. <laughs> Getting the vibe as we can see. So in a loose and Clemens de Rian, your third and fourth finisher.
And there it is. Cassie Annie Rodriguez dropping in another wave, looking to increase her lead. Oh, beautiful turn there from Capucine de Lenoir. Cassiani off the top. She is in power at the moment. And Capucine also deciding against that wave. Is she going to continue on it? It does look like she is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Capucine, better hack, you see, but she just keeps going off the back of the wave. Judges aren't going to really penalize her for that. Just not able to keep it on. A little bit of an air at the end. And here, starting to make a few moves. She's I mean, she Capucine has to up her game if she wants to have an opportunity to fight it out. Because at the moment, Kessiani is more than two points in the lead. So Capuzin needs, needs to get in the high eights. She needs to be around the high eights if she wants to have a chance. As we can see, Kessiani here has really made it happen. And here, Cassiani Rodriguez with 14.86. She's in position, so she has priority. Who is it going to be? All right, just coming up on five minutes. So we've probably got enough time for one set, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they are far and few between, but there's been a couple of minutes without any waves. So I'm gonna send a little wind and wave dance so we can have a last battle in between these two athletes. Capuzin Delanois, your current tour leader. Kersiani Rodriguez, hailing out of Brazil, who has been on fire this whole event. Commanding lead here so far, more than two points. And Capucine de Lenoir is going to be having to look around the high eights if she wants to have a chance to battle it out here for this first position. Capucine on the right hand side there with the orange lycra. A little bit further down on the left, just going out of our screen, you can see. Kessiani Rodriguez as we are here all the way down as you can see the point break there All right, here we have Kessiani dropping in one more time. Oh, she is just looking to increase her lead. This is a nice wave, nicely turned. And great timing there for her. Not quite getting the tail as loose as always. And here a foam climb just to get past that section. Kessiani here at the bottom. And now this is when she comes at right out in front of the old stream booth down here at the bottom end of the wave. And just pushing that kite down. Seeing if she can get some more. There you go. Nice little turn there from her as well. Loops it around. And here we can see Serena Luce as she has a smile on her face. 
as she has that third position already. Here we can see Kessiani going for the fin slide at the beginning of that way. So mixing it up before she got into those turns. So great riding here from Kessiani Rodriguez. All right, so we're coming up on the final two minutes. Final two minutes, ladies and gentlemen, of your final here of the GK Kite Surf World Cup in Dakla, Morocco. Kessiani Rodriguez Capo, Cinde La Noire, out here on the action. At the moment, it is Kessiani Rodriguez who has the upper hand as she has the 8.13 that has really given her the advantage and backed up by the 6.73. Two great scores, 14.86. Reigning world number one, uh, Capucine Delanois with a 12.20, a 6 and a 6.20. Looking for a set wave because it's only going to be on a set wave that she will be able to perform an 8-point ride. Is it going to be this one because time is ticking? 90 seconds out here on the clock. She knows it's close, so I reckon she's going to be going into action here. Ooh, deciding against it as we're coming to the final 60 seconds. And here we can see the girl starting to get the vibe. As Serena is happy because she can see that her fellow countrywoman, Kessiani Rodriguez, is in the lead as we are going to be closing it out very shortly. All right, Capucine Delanois dropping in as we have 50 seconds to go. This is where it's all out. Putting all the cards and all the chips on the table. Two turns, slashing it around. As we are moving all the way down. What a wave here from Capucine Delanois. Is this going to be enough? This is what could be a buzzer beater. It could be a buzzer beater. 20 seconds to go. Linking it up again. Nice turn. Can she keep to her feet? Yes, she does. Oh, we're going to be waiting for scores here. A little air at the end. Mid face. Capucine de la Noire answering back at the final moment of this heat as it is about to close out and Kessiani Rodriguez off the So it is official. It is Kessiani Rodriguez who is our champion here in Dakla. So Kessiani Rodriguez from Brazil has taken the win. Congratulations to her. What an amazing ride we have seen there from Kessiani Rodriguez throwing down all the way to the end as those scores are in. Capucine Delanois needed a big number and unfortunately was not able to achieve it. But it is this young lady here from Brazil, your North Kiteboarding athlete representing Kiteli and Brazil. There's the flag, there's the flag. Bora, 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 bora. As she is our winner, making her way into the beach. And the hands are in the sky.
And here we have her, our champion, coming down to the edge. Kessiani Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen. As she is our winner. There it is, your champion. And the emotions are there. Brazil on top as we have a party in the air. Kessiani Rodriguez, your top athlete here for the GK Kite Surf World Cup. Wow, what an amazing final. So we have there Kessiani Rodriguez, the winner of the GKA Kite Surf World Cup here in Dakla. Second position for Capuzine Delanois, third position Serena Luz, and fourth position there for Clemence Derian. Congratulations to all of our athletes, and once again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in here on the stream. We will be back very shortly as we are going to be going over to Ibirakera for more action. I'm Josie Asher, and I will see you soon. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. World champions will be crowned. Legends will be made. This is going to be epic. come true and let's go for the next one Just missed my flight. Didn't do no purpose. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. 
I'll keep it safe. Okay, bye. Faire gagner le sport.